red face is not just from embarrassment. It's a common skin condition. Red cheeks and chins and those tiny red blood vessels maybe on your nose. Well, now there is a new treatment for it with some dramatic results. And who else but NBC10 medical reporter Sherry Bank can show it to us. Susan Daly has it, so does Betty Young and 14 million Americans. Most don't even know it. Redness on their cheeks, nose, chin, or forehead. Permanent blush, yes. <laughs> Small blood vessels on your face, sometimes bumps or pimples. I just felt like people would be looking at me because I had big red blotches on my face. It's called rosacea, and while there have been ways to calm it down, there's never been a way to get rid of it until now. This is the brand new V-Beam Pulse Dye Laser. Pulses of light destroy the unwanted veins of rosacea without hurting the skin. The only treatment that really gets at the heart of the cause, in my opinion, is laser because it removes the blood vessels. And it removes them for good. Dr. Eric Bernstein is a laser surgeon. Patients will ask me, don't I need these veins? The fact is, if you weren't born with them, you don't need them. These are veins that come on later from the sun and they actually cause problems. They cause the rosacea. This laser can take away the redness from people's faces who have lived with redness all their life. And then if they use proper sun protection, that redness can stay away for many years to come. And the results are dramatic. People who have been embarrassed of their complexions for years find their faces clear up after two to four laser treatments. The laser does cause a little temporary bruising. Actually, I'm bruised right now, and I have... I've. Hopefully, I've covered it pretty well. Yeah, you um, can't see it at all. Susan and Betty are just hoping they get the same results as they see here. By the next day, I could see improvement in my skin. For a couple of days of bruising to not be beet red anymore, that would be great. That would be wonderful. Sherry Bank, NBC10 News.